This video is about nonlinear curve subdivision in the three dimensional special Euclidean group SE2. One application of curve subdivision in SE2 is the smoothing of Dubin's path. A Dubin's path is a sequence of straight lines and circle segments that are joined with continuous tangent. Dubin's paths are used in motion planning for car like robots. The path shown here is defined by 11 control points in SE2. A control point, indicated as a red arrowhead, consists of a position in the plane and a heading. The curvature of the path is discontinuous where straight lines and circle segments meet. Curve subdivision of the control points in SE2 results in a limit curve that slightly deviates from the original Dubin's path. But the curvature along the new curve does not have discontinuities as indicated by the gray curvature com. In this example, the underlying refinement scheme is cubic B-spline subdivision. When quartic B-spline refinement is used, the curvature com is very regular, at the cost of a greater deviation from the original Dubin's path in green. Curve subdivision in SE2 can also be used to design planar curves with favorable curvature. Here a letter G is created. The placement of control points is fairly intuitive. These are examples from our article. The number of control points are 17 for the clef, 8 for the letter A and 9 for the letter G. Curve subdivision in Lie groups and Riemannian manifolds was proposed and analyzed in previous work. Three relevant publications are listed. The application to the specific Lie group SE2 is comparably simple because the nonlinear formulas turn out to be not too complex. The illustration shows one round of subdivision of a sequence of four control points. The geodesics between two successive control points are indicated in green. For each such edge, two new points are placed at parameter values 1 quarter and 3 quarter. The weights are inspired by Chaikin's algorithm. For the refinement with cubic B-spline, quartic B-spline or the four-point scheme, see the publication by Din and Sharon, as well as our article. For matrix groups, the parameterization of the geodesic is the formula indicated. For matrix groups, the exponential map and the logarithm are matrix exponential and matrix logarithm. The group action is matrix multiplication, indicated by a dot. The formula was used to refine the initial sequence of four control points in the six-dimensional Lie group SE3, shown in the illustration. The Lie group SE2 in, is three-dimensional. Two coordinates encode a location in the plane. The third coordinate is the heading, which may account for the winding number. This allows us to parameterize the group SE2 using R3 with the correspondence to the matrix representation as indicated. In triple notation, the exponential map and logarithm are fairly compact expressions. A geodesic in SE2 is a straight line or a circle segment when projected to R2 as shown in the animation to the right. Accounting for the winding number in the heading gives more freedom when designing curves. That way, a single control point can generate several loops. A singularity exists when adjacent control points differ in a heading by a non-zero integer multiple of 2 pi. In that case, the geodesic is a circle with infinite radius. In practice, this singularity can be avoided. Due to the nonlinear subdivision rules, curve subdivision in SE2 can reproduce circles and straight lines because these are geodesics in SE2. On the other hand, curve subdivision in SE2 also reproduces the limit curves generated by linear subdivision schemes in R2. That is the case when all control points have the same angular component. The animation shows that adjusting the heading in the control points helps to design around our curves. This concludes my presentation. Our article as well as open source implementation are available online. Thank you for watching.